What's good, Camp Focus? Your boy Dom, and I got my boy Chad here, and you're watching Kindred Leaf. Let's go. What's good, Cam folk? It's your boy Dom, as I said before, and we're here today not to review a cigar, perhaps, but to smoke a cigar and drink whiskey with it. And just kind of see how the whiskey can change the flavor for, of a cigar or how the cigar can alter the flavor of the whiskey. You know, do we prefer the whiskey over the cigar or the cigar over the whiskey? I don't know, but we're just smoking and drinking today and just having a good time. Right on. Yeah, I, uh, I like comparing whiskeys with cigars because you get different flavors that can either build up on each other or, you know, completely contradict each other and just make for crazy, awesome flavor experiences. That's right. And so today I brought a couple to the table. Chad brought a couple to the table and we're just going to see how it goes from here. So first up, we got we'll just talk about the whiskey we're drinking first and we're going to more of the cigars and stuff. So. What we have here today is we got the, what, Buffalo Trace? Yeah, so uh, we're starting off with the Buffalo Trace, just the, the standard Buffalo Trace bourbon, um, 45%. Uh, it's a traditional bourbon. Uh, right. You're going to get your, your wood notes, your cherries, uh, maybe a little bit of vanilla out of it. Uh, it's just a, a good standard bourbon, That's whether right. you want it on the rocks, right. meat. Okay. What else you got? Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. So... Kind of following that same path, I also brought uh, the Four Roses Single Barrel. Um, it's a standard bourbon kicked up a notch, uh, so I think this is like 50%. Um, it's got a lot more barrel notes in it, awesome. uh, a little bit more spice, um, just all around a really, really good bourbon. And I'm interested in that one too, because I've, I've never had the Four Roses either, so you're definitely introducing me into something I've never had, so thanks. Absolutely. And then uh, your recommendations were the... So, uh, so yeah, my, my go-to drink uh, would be the Glenlivet uh, Caribbean Reserve. Uh, I, I like it uh, because I like rum, and this was aged in a rum cask. So you mess rum with whiskey. I don't know. It seems like the perfect pairing to me. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you can get those, <laughs> those fruit flavors yeah. from the rum. A and, ton yeah. of them. A ton of them in there. And uh, I wanted to go a little bit on a heavier side in this uh, comparing video. So we uh, went with the, the Uncle Nearest. Uh, this one is the 93 proof one. I typically go with the 100 proof uh, version, uh, but this one is good. Uh, it's, it's a good heavy one as well. So I think it'll pair well with the cigars that we chose today. So Absolutely. that being said, uh, again, let's, let's go with the, the cigars that we chose today. Uh, it's not, a, again, not a cigar a review video, but definitely uh, just want to smoke some good sticks. Whatever. Yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> for my first round up, I got it now. I wanted to try to get through this whole session with one cigar, but if we can't pull that off, we're gonna we got our backups ready to go. Yep. So the first lineup for me is I got the Liga Number no. Nine Flying Pig, and I also with a follow up, I got the Padron Handmade uh, Cigar here. Nice. Yeah, I, uh, I'm also going Drew Estate. Uh, I got the uh, Liga Feral Flying Pig. Nice. Uh, similar to the number nine, just a little bigger. There we go. <laughs> little, little more, uh, <laughs> little more to it also. And All then right. uh, to uh, to wrap it up, just a, a nice dessert cigar. And if you've had this, uh, it's yeah. something else. Uh, this is the Cuevana Punisher uh, Jalapeno <laughs> Popper. Um, I think it'll really bring out spice notes in some of these uh, the the whiskeys that we're gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was gonna be. That's what she. That's what she said. <laughs> Man, tell you what, these flying pigs are one of my favorite sticks. But the only problem is you gotta be careful cutting that pig tail cap off, or you're gonna have a fucking problem on your hands. Yeah, if you pull that cap off. Damn on. right. So with this man, I'm getting woody oak notes on this is pretty light very light on mine as well i'm getting uh just a hint of cocoa almost um and some like uh barnyard kind of hay oh yeah 
Yeah, it's good. And and the and draw on this bad boy is good right now, too. Yeah, it's so. a nice, nice flow. Little, yeah, just tight enough, but not, uh, you know, nothing, nothing impeding it. All right, shit. Let's get these, uh, let's get these lit. So, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm familiar with the Buffalo Trace and, uh, and the, the, the sweetness or the, I can, I guess I can say maltiness, uh, of the, of the whiskey. And I really like that too because a lot of cigars I like to smoke are fuller cigars or peppery cigars. And I think that sweetness uh, kind of calms that pepperiness down. Yeah, the contradiction of of the two flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, we got these lit and we're off now. And uh, I don't know if you're, you guys are watching, if you're beginner cigar smokers or whiskey smokers, uh, I would say we're pretty experienced. Whiskey smokers? Whiskey uh, drinkers? Excuse me, wiki, whiskey, <laughs> wiki, whiskey drinkers. <laughs> you only had one I, I know, so man. I, just, well, before you got over here, I was fucking tanked. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna, what I want to do is just kind of get a sip of the whiskey and then smoke the cigar and just kind of... See what's different. See what's different. Yeah. So right now, cigar, I would say, there's a sweetness in the cigar, but there's definitely woody notes. It's it's nutty notes, and it's got the pepper to it. So I'm not getting much pepper on mine. Um, it, it's really that those sweet flavors that are okay. coming through. Um, more of that cocoa kind of kind of bit, a little bit of uh, wood. It's uh, pretty good. Again, man, that, that sweetness in that Buffalo Trace, it, it really calmed that, that, that pepper down that was there. Uh, it's not overpowering in this Liga uh, number nine, but it, you know, it's there. But it just really mellowed it out and allowed the smoke uh, flavor to really penetrate the, the palate. Uh, I so I like the, the oily finish you get with the, uh, the Buffalo Trace. It, it kind of, you can feel it on your gums and kind of lingers with yeah. a little bit of a, a spice yes. there. Mm -hmm. But the, the initial sweet that's coming out of, of this, the, the brown sugar caramel kind, yes. of, kind of whatnot, it really enhances uh, at least this stick. I, I'd i be scared of it a little bit with the Punisher, I think. But, yeah, no uh, doubt. Um, yeah, the sweetness definitely gives it a little bit more pop. And uh, like I said, the oil sticking to your, in your mouth just... Okay, it's, it's interesting. It holds the smoke a little better, also. It feels like so. I, did, I, would, I would for sure say that the Buffalo Trace uh, complements the the cigar, which may be unfair. And, and it's like I said, it's not a review video, but we're both smoking a Drew Estate cigar, <laughs> yeah. so so a lot of the character of the leaf are, are going to be the same. We didn't plan this at all. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, just told me bring some sticks. And, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that's it. So it's kind of funny that we both brought out the uh, the Drew Estate on the first go, and and. That, that just lets you know the consistency, or co not consistency, uh, the how well Drew Estate uh, blends their cigars. Absolutely. Um, it's one of one of my go-tos. The number nines, the T-52s, they're, they're always in my humidor. So. No doubt. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to smoke and drink this down a little bit, and we'll update you here shortly. Well, I can't say that this is going to be a short video, but we'll try to make it definitely a long, interesting video. So y'all keep tuned. We'll be back. Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're back for more action. Let's do it. And uh, right now, we got the my selection, which is the uh, Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve Single Malt Scotch Whiskey straight out of the uh, rum cask. Yeah, this, uh, this is inter interesting. I've never had this before. Um, so we're going we're gonna to try and pull out of it what we can pull out of it. Sweet. Let's uh, do it. Do a little whiskey nerd here, if you will. Yep. Hmm. Like that nose, they really get the tropical. Yeah, kind of there's like almost on. like a almost like a pineapple smell going with yeah. it. And I don't know if that's just my head because I read Caribbean, but <laughs> yeah, no, I was definitely there. It's so citrusy. Yeah, or like a like a banana smoothie kind of smell going on. Yeah, delicious. Wow. <laughs> It is a tropical smoothie, and, it, and it's scotch. That is, 
it delightful. Is, isn't it something? <laughs> that is delightful. <laughs> some really it. sweet, almost like a honey, honey um, with like a, a hint of orange and, yes. and bananas and um, and the and the finish on it is maybe a medium. Yeah, it's it's pretty quick to, to mm-hmm. die off. It's not like super sharp. There's st- it's still yeah. lingering a little bit, um, but wow, that's that's nothing but sweetness and goodness right yep. there. That's uh, I gotta that's get, pretty impressive. But I gotta give kudos to my buddy Josh who introduced me to that one uh, last year, uh, and I've I've been a fan ever since. Uh, I try to keep that one in the uh, the old stock. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's it. That's a definitely keep that <laughs> one on the table. So I gotta smoke this cigar, man, and see how it pairs with this uh, yeah. Glen Livet. Definitely brings out like a uh, like a baker's chocolate that I'm getting in this. Like not wow. super sweet because I think the sweet here uh, kind of covers up that. But mm-hmm. I get that that chocolatey um, like cocoa powder, okay. not uh, not like milk chocolate cocoa powder. Uh, this one did not tone down the pepperiness that I was getting with the buffalo trace, but I I I see what you mean with the cocoa. Uh, it's on the, more the back end of the smoke that I, that I taste that that cocoa powder uh, taste, uh, but it brings out more of the the fruitier uh, cig- uh, nuances in the cigar. So I'm almost like a raisin. Yeah, yeah, I can see that like a dark, yeah. like uh, like a like a plum or y- uh, yes, yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely, exactly, chocolate covered, Ethan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty nifty. I said. That's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody out there uses Nifty, man. You know, <laughs> comment in the section below if you use Nifty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So I gotta ask, uh, when you're selecting your cigar, what what's the typical profile that you look for in a cigar in regards to color, strength? Um, so. I'm not a huge fan of Connecticut's. Um, with my palate, I like the stronger, bolder flavors. Yes. Uh, so I typically go for some some dark Connecticut, okay. uh, like uh, like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, your your heavy Maduros, the Oscuros, all those. Um, I like the darker, stronger stuff because I, I tend to find that my palate can find it a little easier. Yes. Um, but I also haven't really dabbled into okay. the, the the super light stuff that much. I, I mean, you just got me back into cigar smoking, what, like a year ago? Yeah. Did you start right off with the darker cigars? So when I was younger, I did. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I was smoking, uh, what were they, the uh, Helix Maduros oh, yeah. is where I, where I started <laughs> on my first, like, real sticks. And uh, <clears throat> then kind of fell out of it for a while and became a huge whiskey fan and started nerding out on all the... The yeah. delicacies of, of whiskey. Nice. Um, and then Holden and, and you uh-huh. kind of came together at the same time yep. and, and got me back into smoking cigars and how I could use the palate that I had developed through whiskey exactly. and kind of use it on, on cigars. So I, like I said, typically the heavier stuff, okay. um, um, higher nicotine levels. Yes. Um, so that's, that's my go-to. Agreed. And, and, I'm, and I'm glad you brought all that up, too, because, you know, you, you're being more of the whiskey connoisseur. Uh, that that kind of opens up the door for me because I like to ask you questions about whiskey and, and you give me an answer right away. So I definitely use that. I appreciate you. I make half of it up. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound good though, so it works. Uh, but the Connecticut's, I, I agree. I started out with Connecticut's and the lighter Connecticut's, and and I that's what brought me into the cigar world. But once I started uh, getting into more of the heavier cigars, say you know this uh, 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 Connecticut broadleaf here darker color it was a whole new world for me and, and i and i enjoy it you know the flavor that you get from it is just it's stronger you know it's it's it just offers more in a session and it gives me a little something more to talk about yeah so what happened was i stopped liking connecticut's after that really i stopped and i and i really started hating them really yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I shunned my nose at the lighter connecticut's <laughs> But not anymore. As a cigar reviewer now, I had to find a new love for it. Absolutely. Uh, so I just had to find something I liked, and then I went from there. So I have a newfound love for Connecticut's, uh, but my go-to, Habano uh, Maduro. Okay. 
Right on. Yeah, you're going to have to introduce me to some some lighter Connecticut's that maybe I can find a, a better taste for my palate for. Because I do. I, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> can, <so. laughs> can do, brother. No problem. Man, if, you're, if you can get a nice Puro, too, I think it's better because, you know, you get the taste every single, you know, binder, leaf, wrapper from that region. Mm -hmm. And it just makes for a better experience. So I would def definitely say uh, stick to the Puro Connecticut's. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Out of Dominican Republic. <laughs> Nicaragua. <laughs> so I have had the, the Cohiba Puro Nicaraguan. Uh, but it, I, if I remember right, it was a little bit darker. It wasn't a true, like that blonde color Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a, a nicotine bomb on I that one. <laughs> I believe it. You, you and I both know about those nicotine bombs. Mm -hmm. And there's one cigar and mention that I won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> that gets you in trouble every time, brother. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I still got to light one of those up. You, you gave me one. One or two, I think. Yeah, and yeah, brother. Yeah, I got. I've, I've had them resting for a few months. And Shit, man. Because you scared me. And yeah. You know, I'm gonna dive into it. <laughs> that was the only. <laughs> that was the only cigar that's ever pumped me, man. And 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 after the first third, I was smoking it with a couple other fellas, and I, I was just feeling it. I'm like, man, bro, I don't know about y'all, but I got to put this cigar down. And they were feeling the exact same way. So we all <laughs> end up <laughs> quitting smoking that cigar. Shit, man, let's let's get on to the next whiskey. Yeah, what do you think? Absolutely. Which what do we got? We're going with what? Uh, I think we're gonna go with the Four Roses single barrel next. Shit, let's do it because I've never had that one. All I'm right, pretty excited. Keep so I had a new one, and you get to have a new one. <sighs> All right, <laughs> let's do it, man. Move this bad boy out of the way. Old Glen Levitt. Ooh. Ooh. Nice sound. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, like a party in a damn glass. <laughs> my cigar. Oh, oh shit. son of a <laughs> I got Touch you. your feet. Hey, I ash on your chair. <laughs> yeah, that in a blooper reel. Yeah. Yeah, she's still good. No cracks or anything. Yeah. I think we survived. Yeah. <laughs> As I pour whiskey all over the table. Four roses. What's the strength of this? Uh, uh, so this is 50. Okay. All right. proof. Going in for the win. Yeah, that's uh, not holding anything back on this one. All right. Do it. Get that puppy little swirl. Yes, sir. There we go. I like the nose on that man, it's nice car caramel uh, smell come off. You that. know, after retro handling, <laughs> <laughs> nose here is burnt. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. So, this one, man, it was like it's got a, it's got a residual sweetness to it, but that 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 oakiness. And this goes right to the nostrils and right out. Like yeah. I can flame on. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually, I think it's a little, and I hate to use this word, smoother okay. than the Buffalo Trace. Even being a higher percent um, alcohol, at least for me, um, it's 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 a little smoother. There's a, a bit more sweetness that I'm getting out of it. More, uh, more cherryness, more, uh, um, not like the dried fruits we got with Glenlivet. Right. It's, it's more like a like a cherry sweetness, maybe a touch of vanilla. Um, and then it's followed up by just a bunch of s spice, if yes. you will, like a, like a cinnamon and uh, almost like a rye spice um, kind of that I get out of it. So that, that being said, you know, I, I love rye. Um, the spiciness, all right, wow. Yeah, right, right in the end there, you're getting all that spiciness. And I don't, so that, that that cherry fruitiness that you mentioned it, it, it overpowers like any oakiness. So yeah. I don't get any any woody notes on this at all. Yeah, no, no, mm -hmm. it's definitely a, a, on the sweeter side with some spice. Mm -hmm. um, not, I'm sure there's oak tannins in there yeah, yeah. And, and and all of that, but really up front is, is that that fruit, and then um, coming behind with uh, with like a lingering pepperness um, mm. at the back end. 
Man, I got to smoke my cigar. I can't stop yeah. drinking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Back in the game. Now, this one pulls out the pepper in here. For oh, me. oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, uh, that definitely steps up the, uh, the sticks pepper levels. Um, the, the, the chocolatey kind of flavor I was getting in the stick earlier. Um, it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's almost gone. Um, and, and I don't know if that's because the stick's changing because we're smoking them down or if it's legitimately the, the, the sweetness here hiding it. So all that comes into play. So we all know uh, as you're smoking the cigar down, the flavors change in the first, second, or third. Um, and, and they tend to get stronger as you as you get further into the cigar. So you're, you're definitely you're uh, that fucking word again. You're definitely right. <laughs> in, in, in that area. <laughs> My viewers know that fuck the word fucks me up every time. Uh, but this whiskey brings out more of the woodier nuances of the cigar. I can see that. Yeah, for I, me, absolutely. I can be convinced of that. It doesn't taste like tobacco. Tobacco flavored tobacco. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Do on some uh, fresh morning pavement. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice raindrops on a fr- on a wet pavement. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but that, that's, that's a, good, man. It it's been a minute since I've had the single barrel, so it. The single barrel is their one of their higher end releases. Um, it is head and shoulders above the the small batch and the uh, uh, this the standard yellow cap uh, that they do for four roses. Um, I was doing some research on okay. this, so apparently there's ten different recipes they use okay. that they can make the single barrel. Of. Okay, um, and it is. Varying depending on what you get, and I think we got a good one. <laughs> I, I think so too, and I, I kind of hate to say this might be a little too early, but I, I feel like that one is is the best one to pair with this cigar so far. Yeah, so far, so far, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it, the the sweetness pairs right along with it. It amps the pepper up a little bit, yeah. and, and as we kind of both said, we like those stronger flavors uh, of the peppers and whatnot. Right. So, and and the, the, this number nine, I'm pretty sure yours is the same. It's got a long finish, and the whiskey has a long finish. Mm-hmm. So, like, as I sit here, and, I, and I'm not smoking and drinking anything, those flavors are still on my palate, and I still taste it all, and, and it, it's balancing very well. Yeah, absolutely. This this is the type of cigar and whiskey that you need to drink at the cigar bar. Yeah, yeah. This, this would be a great great combo. Any, yeah. Really, probably any Liga, the darker stuff would pair quite well with this, I believe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a believer. <laughs> well, shit. Let's take. Let's break off and uh, smoke this down a little bit. And we'll we'll yeah, come man. in with the new selection. Sounds good, brother. Right. Cheers. Cheers. All right, can't folk. We're back, uh, and we are on our last whiskey. Now we are going with the Uncle Nearest. Uh, another one you haven't had yet. No, I have not had Uncle Nearest before. So I'm uh, I'm looking forward to this. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, and hopefully it pairs well with the cigar we're, we're getting ready to see. <laughs> yeah. uh, 93 proof, so it's a little bit less than uh, the Four Roses, mm-hmm. but, and definitely a lighter color, so we'll, uh, we'll see how this turns out. Hit me, bartender. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pour myself first. Sorry, Aww. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'll let you drink first, though. Oh, so kind too. <laughs> it was about even. Yeah, oh no, you got a little more than me. Oh, so, okay. yeah, <laughs> By the time you're done, the glass is gonna be full. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, it is Saturday. It is. <laughs> oh wow! So you get caramel, yeah, caramel, and you, and you get the strength on this one just like you did with the the the, uh, the rose. A little bit of sweetness there. But really no no sweetness on the on the on the taste. On the taste at all. Maybe very light. None. I get a honey sweetness. It's like um, it's just at the initial onset I get a little bit of honey. And then it's followed up with like an oily heat. It's not 
alcohol heat. I'm not getting, it's not a super deep, uh, so I get a spicy citrus. Yeah, I, I can be convinced of that. Absolutely. Yeah. I get that heat, mm -hmm. that spiciness. And yeah. Let me see if I can find some, some citrus in this. Are you thinking like grapefruit kind of citrus? I'm thinking orange. Oranges? Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent oranges mm -hmm. um, and like blood orange. Yeah, like, yeah, like not tangerine, yeah. like blood Fuck orange. That dude, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> nice, your pal, your pal is pretty good. Yeah, some days. Mm. <laughs> mm. There's a smoke, but I don't know if it's the cigar lingering or if it's. In the uh, the whiskey itself, it's not like a peat smoke or anything like that, but like a the smoke in the cigar is overpowering the whiskey in this one for me. That's what I was kind of testing earlier. I did a retro hail right mm -hmm. before I took a sip, and just to kind of see what would what would happen there, and it, it did kind of overtake the whiskey. The whiskey it, it feels like it's uh, oh how do I say it. A delicate whiskey almost yeah so for me the the it's better if you go if, if you smoke this first and then drink this it fares well better for the whiskey but if I drink the whiskey first and then I smoke it cigar just hard takes over the yeah. cigar just takes right yeah. over so the whiskey complements the cigar but the cigar does not complement the whiskey for me yeah, absolutely. I can see that. Yeah. Um, I, I do get, so I, I said blood oranges. I can, I can see that still as it clears. Yes. It's left with like a honey. I don't, yep. I'm not getting spice left. Mm -hmm. I'm getting like a, like you, you took a, uh, one of those honey bears, right? And just <laughs> squirted it in your mouth and swallowed it. It's just that honey that's left there after you <laughs> swallowed. That's what I'm getting out of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I totally understand. I get it. <laughs> this is my 10 year old brain went somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd be interested to see how this stands up without a cigar. Like, yeah. Clear my palate. And well, it. If, I, if, if, if there's a night and I just want to just drink whiskey, I, I, I do go with Uncle Nearest because it's just a good, it's a good, good it's drinking delicious. whiskey. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you have to balance this, I would say, right now with a lighter cigar. Um, in between cuts, uh, Chad and I were just kind of discussing uh, how well these cigars were pairing with these whiskeys and, and what which one of these whiskeys would pair well uh, with a lighter cigar and what do we come up with? Um, I mean, my, my go-to was the Buffalo Trace because it, it kind of gets overshadowed by all the smoke that we're, we're having. And yes. then with a, with a lighter, lighter stick, uh, the bourbon would stand up a little better on that one. With a lighter smoke? Yeah, with a lighter smoke, yeah. yeah. Ag agreed. So uh, Buffalo Trace, uh, this one in, the, in, in this, re uh, this session that we're doing right now would, would pair way better with a Connecticut or Habano. And also the Glen Livet. Yeah, I mean the the fruitiness there. Which I mean, it, it'll pair with just about mm -hmm. anything. It's that's delicious. Yep, it was it was good with this cigar, but it, it, it can it can pair well with a lighter cigar as well. Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll save the final thought here in, in just a little bit. But right now, I think we both know which one uh, that yeah. we like the best. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe y'all. Yeah, y'all probably know too, know too by, by the reactions. Um, I just want to say that uh, taste is very subjective, right? Um, us talking back and forth, we can come to the flavors that we can both find in it. But whatever you taste, it's what you're tasting, right? It, it, there's no right or wrong answer. Uh, cigars, whiskey, it's all kind of the same with, with your palate, you know. Uh, just enjoy it, have fun with it, and see what you find because – you may find something in it that no one else has ever thought of. So exactly. <laughs> I mean, with the millions and millions of different whiskeys out there, oh, yeah. and, and likewise with cigars, you're definitely able to find something out there at least that'll hit your palate the right way. But 
just doing this video, it just would hopefully lead you in a direction that many of you already do. You know, we all smoke cigars or drink whiskey and go to the cigar bars and, and do the same and such. But, you know, what do you do when you're, you know, sitting in your, your patio or your garage by yourself and you're smoking? And, and, and what, how do you how do you pair your your whiskey with your cigars? Do you or you just kind of pick something out of your cabinet and just smoke it and just whatever happens, happens? Yeah. I, I do that a lot. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of times I just drink tequila. <laughs> you know, I, I love tequila and, and I think it pairs very well with a lot of cigars, but my real go-to is rum. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the sugar content of, of rum. I mean, it, it's a good match with smoke. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think it helps with that nicotine overdose, mm. you know, and man, let me tell you something. I got a little story. I saw I was in the Quantum Lee Marshall Islands one of these times. I won't tell you why. Nothing illegal. <laughs> But I didn't take your cigarette boat down there. You know, <laughs> no. But I'm sitting on the beach, man. You know, and, and I'm I'm smoking and I'm, and I'm barbecuing and, and I'm smoking and I brought about maybe four cigars out there. So I, I I pound one cigar down. And I'm feeling real good. And next thing you know, man, I I jump right into the next cigar. And and I, it might have been a, a darker uh, a Maduro or something, man. But let me tell you, halfway through that son of a bitch. I got the spins like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I'd sit there and lay down and shit and just thinking like, damn, I, ha I wish I had something sweet right now because that would have kind of brought me out of that nicotine overdose. Put your feet back on the ground for you. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know? So th that being said, I, 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 that's why I like rums or I like that Glenn Levitt Korean yeah. cast because it had that sweetness to it that I think will kind of help with that nicotine buzz that you can get from the cigars. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Ken, folks, we're back, and we're going to give you our final thought on this cigar session with the whiskeys. And uh, at the same time, we're, we're both going to put our hand on the on the whiskey that we chose that paired well with our cigar session. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I think I'm ready. All right, one. We're, obviously, we finished the. <laughs> yeah, we're the, we're, the, yeah. the ligas are done, so yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna talk about some whiskey now. No doubt. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Man, the, the 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 four roses here was outstanding. Yeah, hands down. Um, just the the way it contributed to the cigar was exactly un unbeatable. The the way the sweetness, the spice, everything it it built up that cigar to be better than 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 it was. And it's a great stick, but made it even better. Exactly, that. man. The but the balance was outstanding, and I really couldn't believe how well the 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 um, the the finish. On, on both the whiskey and the cigar, this held strong and true throughout this session. So we'll we'll have a little more. Yeah, we're gonna have a little <laughs> bit more, and we're gonna give you some bonus footage. We're gonna smoke the uh, the the Punisher, the Jalapeno Popper, uh, with this, and just to finish out the cigar, and just give you some bonus footage how a different cigar, uh, the same cigar that we're we're both smoking together, will pair with this uh, whiskey. Yeah, if, if you haven't had these little pepper bombs. Um, it's it's something else. They are, yeah. I mean, it is pure jalapeno habanero uh, spice. I think my, my first review on this huh. cigar was literally a thousand little pepper uh, men stabbing yeah, man. on the lips. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I, I don't know how the heck they it, did it. This. It's like they almost like they dipped it in in in, in jalapeno juice because on on the uh, on your lips you feel that tingle. It's just spicy like a jalapeno. Man, it's so, <laughs> it's, so yeah. <laughs> it's so spicy. Not a pepper spicy, but jalapeno. Yeah. yeah it, not, it, not your white pepper, black pepper. It's straight up yep. like uh, capsaicin, uh, yeah. the stuff that's in OC spray. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's something different. Yep. But disclaimer, we both have smoked this cigar, so yeah. it, is, it is nothing new to us. Uh, but pairing it with the four roses, that's what's new. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Spice bomb. Yeah, let's let's see. <laughs> like these little 30-minute smokes, man. They're exactly. Perfect session cigar. Oh, man. Ooh, gorgeous smoke on this, and it's just it's spicy, man. Like <clears throat> draw is a little tight on it, like a lot tight actually. 
was that little poker. And that's the thing, too, with these cigars. You know, you got several different rollers rolling these cigars. So sometimes when you get these these different quantity cigars and, and box cigars, sometimes you run into a few that, you know, doesn't pair as well as the, the other cigar that you smoked. But uh, obviously I got the better one out of the deal here. It just it just amazed me how 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 that spice I how do they do it like that spice kick right on my bottom it's, lip yeah, it's, man it's like I'm just sitting here eating on a, a jalapeno pepper it's re it's ridiculous so as he's uh, fixing his cigar which might have a slight plug in it uh, yeah it feels like there's a plug somewhere in it it's. But good footage, though, man. You're definitely effectively showing how you can fix a plug cigar, and it and it's probably just a you know well, probably as I get past this shoulder, it's going to pick up. I already feel it lightening up a little mm -hmm. bit there. Ooh, oh, sweet! Wow, man, that's <laughs> a spicy motherfucker. Like, <laughs> My the, lips are on fire. Yeah, <laughs> the, the retro hell. In addition to the, the the spiciness that's on the lips, and it's just spicy, man. <clears throat> man, I haven't got to the whiskey yet. If you're looking for a nice thirty minute session smoke, this this is a good uh, uh, stick. Uh, do you know what this stick uh, man, uh, MSRP for a single stick? I, I don't because. I use that website that is dangerous to, to <laughs> use to buy them, so I got them for cheap. But uh, yeah, they're something else. You can Google that real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find it real quick. They're they're not horribly expensive if I remember right. Um, Let's see here. Let's see what we can find real oh, quick. So my lips are on fire. <laughs> Those are the full size. They have the jalapeno right there. Yeah, that's uh, for. Five, 10 pack. Uh, let me see if I can get a single, yeah, single price. <laughs> yeah, true. I know. Math. math uh. <laughs> Trying to make it easy on his first world problems. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. We're lighting it yeah. up now. So you're looking at about four, four, four and a half dollars per stick Yeah. Uh, for the Punishers. Yeah. So and it's definitely in the budget range, yeah. but I mean, you're not going to get, it's not like a huge cigar, but I mean, for, for the, the, the quality of this stick, it, it gives you a nice punch. Yeah, it, it's for the price. completely different from anything else I've ever smoked. A um, lot of uh, Ligero. It's it's heavy in the Ligero. Ooh, uh, ooh, just <laughs> yeah, lights you up. So we'll see how what this does with the spice of uh, what we determined was our favorite. There you go. Complimenting uh, at least those Drew Estates or sorry, at Ligas. Holy pepper bomb! But man, it's it still pairs it kills well. It. it kills it. Yeah, it's, it's it's beautiful. It's almost like eating some nachos with cilantro, yeah, and how yeah. the cilantro balances well. If you got a good nacho, yeah. you know? <laughs> a little sour cream in there. Yeah. not a creaminess, but like yeah. that the way it, it dilutes it and it makes it bearable in a good way. Oh, that's good, man. The, the, the semi-sweetness of the, the Four Roses with the, the spiciness of that Punisher cigar, it, it, I, I like the balance of this stick. I, I would, for a short session, I would, I would oh, yeah, be a go-to cigar. Yeah, this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is something else. It's, uh, I mean, because earlier we were talking about the spice that you get in this at the, at the tail end. Yeah. Your mouth's covered in spice from this, and, and so you're getting that heavy honey, uh, dried fruits yeah. almost uh, at, at the beginning, and then it just kind of mellows. And it's Oh, man. They, they complement each other quite well. I, I was oh, wondering no. if it would do this <laughs> yeah. or if the, the pepper on this would just overpower everything. Exactly. At first, I think my first sip, it did, and then everything kind of leveled out and got into a, a exactly. nice, nice, beautiful pairing right here. Bad. So... That's the bonus footage for you all today. You know, I really appreciate you guys joining us today on this video. Not a review, but a, just a, you know, a, a pairing video. Let's call it that, a pairing video. I thought we were just having a hearse session. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's what it felt like. <laughs> 
man. I, and I, I really appreciate you, Chad, coming through on this this uh, this video for me. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Dom. I did. Look, thank you very much yep. for having me. This is the yep. first video I've been on. Uh, hopefully, I can make a couple more if the, sure. the video turns all turns out all right. And, <laughs> no uh, doubt, because <laughs> I'm sure it will. But hey. You guys know what I say always. You know, you guys uh, uh, appreciate you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment in the section below if you guys got any advice or any tips for us that we didn't cover. And always remember what Chad said. All tastes are subjective. So, you know, just take it as it is. You know, we're just trying to give you a little bit of guidance. There's many videos out there about this subject, uh, but this one is ours. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, any final words for you? Uh Enjoy your smokes, enjoy your whiskey responsibly, and, uh, you know, be nice to one another. That's No, oh, that's right. <laughs> that's, my, that's my motto. Hey, Kindred Leaf, be kind to one another. And what is it? Be Kindred with the Leaf. Until next time, we'll see you next time for the next cigar review from Kindred Leaf. We'll see you next time. Cheers, all. Cheers.